All right, y'all. Um, I'm down here in Mexico. This is Jacqueline, and um, I set up this awesome Pure Path system from Cascade. And this baby has a diffusion pump, so I wanted to make a short video just showing how to operate a Cascade diffusion pump and also diffusion pumps in general. So let's check out the components. We have a scroll pump here. It's an Agilent IDP7, and then we have the diffusion pump right here. It's this component on down. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to operate it. So you have two sets of valves. This valve is the roughing valve. It leads straight into the cold trap and then straight into the glassware. So when this valve is closed the and this valve is closed, it'll just be roughing. So the diffusion pump is isolated from the rest of the vacuum. When you're ready to turn on your diffusion pump, you'll close your roughing valve and you'll open your four line valve here. You're going to keep this valve closed so you're not pulling vacuum and you're going to heat up your diffusion pump. There's a heater here and a fan here. You always need to operate both at the same time. So on this cascade unit there's two switches and you're going to turn both of them on. You're going to wait for about 10 to 15 minutes until the diffusion pump is hot and what it's doing is is it's creating a supersonic convection current in this little unit which is allowing us to reach super awesome deep vacuums, right? So after about 15 minutes, you're ready to turn on the diffusion pump. So what you're going to do is you're going to close your four-line trap, or your four-line valve, and then you're going to open your roughing valve. Once you see your microns, your vacuum level, get below 300 microns, I usually wait till about 150 microns, um, you're going to now close your roughing pump and open your four-line valve. You're going to wait for about five seconds to just make sure your vacuum's super deep in that little connection. And then you're going to turn on your connection to the glassware. When you do this, you should see an immediate drop in vacuum. It should go essentially from, you know, 100, 200 microns, wherever you're at, to 20 microns, then to 10 microns within a couple seconds. If you don't see that, your diffusion pump is not operating correctly. So if you don't see that, you need to immediately turn the valve that connects it to the glassware off and then you need to keep your roughing valve off and keep your four line trap open and your vacuum pump on and then you turn these off. You're going to cool it down for about 15 minutes and then you'll be ready to close your four line valve and turn off your vacuum pump and check to see what's wrong. If nothing is wrong, you can operate uh, with the diffusion pump and it should get you to really deep vacuums. As you can see right now we're at about seven microns which is great. So when you're ready to turn the diffusion pump off what you can do is the same thing you would do if you were trying to you know deal with an issue, right? You would first close your connection to the glassware and then you would allow the pump to operate while you cool it down for about 15 minutes. So turn these off, cool it down. Once it's cooled for about 15 minutes, then you can close your four-line valve and turn off your vacuum pump and you're done for the day. Um, and that's how you turn on and turn off a diffusion pump. So most diffusion pumps operate in a similar mechanism in a similar way. And so, but this is the cascade unit and as you can see, it works very, very well. You know, we're operating right now at seven microns, which for, you know, good distillation, you can't ask for better than that, so. Well, you can, but that's pretty damn good. <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Cheers.